Hello friends, I hope uh, you all are doing well. Today we are going to <coughs> see IoT architecture in this session. So when we talk about uh, IoT architecture or IoT in fact, many people are confused or uh, not uh, aware about uh, what is IoT, how it works and uh, very basic things about the IoT. So let us today uh, uh, today start to define IoT in layman's language. Basically, uh, IoT is nothing but a communication between two things, two physical things with the help of internet. So it is quite obvious that people might have questions how physical things can talk with each other or communicate with each other. So the basic communication, how it happens, let me tell you, it's about, uh, it's like this, the device talk or communicate with the device, then device to server and server to server. <clears throat> so it's like a sensor to a gateway, then gateway to a cloud and cloud to end user application. So this is how the uh, communication happens. So this communication happens with the help of some uh, protocols. When we say protocols, it's uh, uh, MQTT and LoRa. <clears throat> these protocols are, uh, uh, these protocols as well as uh, uh, IPv6, uh, IP version 6, <clears throat> Internet Protocol version 6. So these protocols are being used to communicate with the devices and server. So basically the protocol means uh, the language or uh, some rules and regulations which are being understood by both the devices. It means one device is passing some information and one device is receiving some information and both the devices have some common understanding about that language. So it's called as protocol. So let us start with a overall picture about IoT architecture. So it starts with a, the foundation of a IoT architecture is a sensor connectivity layer. When we talk about sensor connectivity layer, it has many sensors, wide range of sensors and uh, it has multiple uh, specific uh, uh, functions to do by uh, sensors. For example, if we consider some common examples uh, which we face in day-to-day uh, -day life is uh, the humidity of in the air, uh, the walking, what we talk, uh, walk, uh, the electricity, and temperature and pressure of uh, uh, maybe uh, in home or storage uh, uh, what we can store in storage, then air quality, the force, the speed, the torque, velocity, heartbeat, the blood pressure. So these are all physical parameters or environmental parameters that can be sensed by sensors. So it is the layer of uh, sensors connectivity that talk with the physical world and receive the information from that world. Okay. So this information is being passed to gateway network. So this information is passed to gateway network with the help of LAN or PAN. So LAN is the local area network and PAN is the personal area network. So in LAN we can say it's a, a Wi-Fi or Ethernet cable and when we say it's a PAN it's about maybe a low Bluetooth energy or uh, NFC, it's a nearby field uh, communication. IPv6 is a internet protocol version 6. So this gateway receives the information and uh, this gateway passes this information to the cloud or internet. So this 
information is passed with the help of again some LAN or WAN. So LAN we already know it's Wi-Fi or Ethernet, but WAN is something GSM, narrow band uh, <coughs> LD, then uh, 4G or upcoming 5G. <coughs> When this information is passed to a cloud and internet, this layer is called as management service layer. So this is the most important part of the IoT system. We call it as a, a heart of the IoT system. It considers two things, the operational services and business services. This management services is a one kind of a cloud is a kind of a platform. Uh, it's a, a virtual database where we store all our information which is sent from the which sends from the physical world and pass on to the cloud via gateway. This all information is stored in a cloud and this is the very sensitive and uh, uh, we can say it must be it must have some uh, security for to protect our information or uh, organization uh, information so so this is the most critical part of the iot system so from this cloud or internet the information is can be accessed from by different applications all over the world so this is all about the communication it happens. So let us look at the each and every top, each and every layer in short. When we say uh, sensor connectivity layer, it has a, a smart devices. <coughs> so nowadays, uh, if you can see, the um, many people talk about the smart uh, things, you know, the smart homes, smart mobiles, smart car, smart refrigerator, refrigerator, the smart washing machine or anything. But what exactly it means by smart nowadays? The smart means uh, it has a couple, uh, uh, couple of things to be enabled in that uh, device. It means uh, wi uh, that, that uh, smart device must be enabled with a uh, uh, Wi-Fi, RFID. Uh, some embedded devices with microcontroller. So this is this is called as smart device. It means it has smart enough, or it is a programs intelligently to do the functions with a very less space, and it's uh, it's intelligent enough. Again, that device is having its own ID. It's RFID. Radio frequency identification. It means we can identify that device with this number. And again, it has a Wi Fi enabled. It means it can talk with a gateway with the help of Wi Fi module or uh, some Wi Fi enable pin. So, this is what we call it as a smart device. So, this smart device talks with the physical world to capture this kind of information. This is just an example. So there are thousands of parameters that can be sensed by parameters, uh, sorry, your devices. So this device, smart device, talk with the physical world and this information is passed to a digital world. It means this information is passed to a gateway. So now let's see the gateway. The gateway, uh, it has uh, two kind of uh, gateways. The first one is a simple gateway and the second one is a embedded controlled gateway. So there is a quite difference between them. The simple gateway is a, uh, it just uh, take information from smart devices and pass it on to cloud without any change, without any transformation. It just pass on to cloud. The embedded control gateway, it is intelligent enough or it is programmed to suit our requirements or business purpose or business requirements 
So these embedded gateways are the smart enough and uh, they are very quite uh, small in the what you can say size and that is what it is called as embedded control gateway. It is programmed in the maybe a uh, uh, what you can say embedded C language, maybe Python or some other language or Arduino language. So these gateways are programmed to become smart. Now you may have question that uh, <coughs> we already have our routers and uh, then why we need the gateway. There is quite difference between them, the router and the gateway. Router is not equal to or is not equal same as a gateway. The routers sends the information from the similar kind of devices or similar kind of a machine and pass it on to internet. But in gateway, gateway sends the information or get the information in the digital language from the different kind of a sensors from the physical which you get the information from the physical world and pass it on to gateway and that gateway converts that uh, information in the digital form and pass it on to cloud <clears throat> so this is the difference quite a uh, very small difference in the router and the gateway and this information is passing to pass to the internet router and router pass it this information to cloud okay so this is how the gateway works now there are a couple of platforms available in the market uh, for gateway uh, like uh, Arduino Intel Galileo Raspberry Pi Lebelium IBM ARM so these are a couple of uh, platforms freely available in the market uh, which can be used as gateway uh, for uh, <coughs> internet of things <coughs> now let us uh, see about uh, cloud so clouds are uh, there are some vendors which are very big uh, and that vendors are giving services for the cloud for <coughs> many organizations. So these vendors are like uh, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, IBM Watson and uh, Google Cloud. So these uh, <coughs> So when we talk about application layer, there are a couple of uh, applications like a uh, uh, web-based application. This Web-based application is any application that talk with the internet or communicate with the internet can access the information from the cloud. <coughs> then internet applications. The internet applications normally do not talk with the uh, out of the network. So the organizations which are having their in-house cloud can communicate with the internet applications. Then enterprise applications. So in enterprise applications are, uh, uh, for example, any PLM application or any ERP application, for example, the SAP. Uh, this can be used to communicate with the cloud. And uh, next one is uh, mobile applications or uh, tablet applications, anything like uh, uh, Android, iOS application or Microsoft applications that can be used to talk with the, uh, the cloud. So this is all about uh, the uh, IoT architecture. <coughs> so I hope uh, this uh, IoT architecture session is uh, quite useful to you all. You can reach to me all these uh, social media platforms. I request you all to like, comment and share this video in your network and please subscribe my YouTube channel Digital Transformation. Thank you very much.
keep in touch